Hello everyone, yeah, I'm Guru Teddy. It's time for us to learn about Ding Tao. So please subscribe our YouTube channel. Okay, so let us start now. Today we will continue uh, to guide you all how to build up your own e form. So what does it mean e form? So here a poor you can build out a lot of uh, e form or we call mini apps. Yeah, there is no limitation. So build out whatever the form you want. So actually the concept similar like Google Form, but the big difference is this is the Dingtong Form, right? So this like the single selection, okay, the fill in the number, this Google Form also can make it only one part. Yes, here, the process or we call workflow. Yeah, you are unable to use Google to build, build it up. So what does it mean the process? Example, when everyone submit this form, we'll go to Miss Chang. So Miss Chang will check your attendance. Let's say, okay, she will approve it. After that, we'll flow to Director Teddy. So Teddy has the right to approve or reject your form. So based on this process flow, the first thing you can do your own standardization for all the process flow. So there is no argument. The second thing is every process flow, you can avoid this we call gray area because these uh, you already built up your own SOP so everyone have to follow so now before we want to build up this e-form you must make sure you are the system admin so how do you know whether you are the system admin or not so when you click more here do you see the management or you also can see here if you are unable to build it means you are not the system admin so you have to ask your uh, main admin set you as the sub admin also clear so now we just click this uh, management by the way please think twice if you want to appoint somebody as the system admin okay why uh, i say like this because when you become the system admin you have the authorization to view the data edit the data and also delete the data so please think twice when you want to appoint somebody as system admin so let's say when you come to here, okay, this we call back and setting. Uh, maybe you ask me, Teddy, how come my layout is totally different with your ones? Okay, very simple. You just, uh, maybe your one is a uh, old version. Okay, so now I go back to the old version. Yeah, this is the old version. So do you see on your left hand side, don't have uh, the shortcut. Uh, so actually also can be used, no problem. But if you ask me, I more prefer you upgrade to your new version or because it is a free and also uh, it will be easier for you to manage it okay. so let's say let's say when you log in your back end you can view a other languages maybe it's your chinese so how you want to change the language very simple you just click here the right hand side uh, do you see the change language uh, you can change to english okay so uh, for coming next uh, tutorial video uh, we will teach you how to log in this uh, approval and how to build up your e-form or this uh, mini apps so please like our video and we will share it to you okay thanks a lot see you next time bye bye